Matt Roloff has confirmed that part of the family's famous pumpkin farm is for sale amidst his bitter battle with son Zack over the future of the land. In an Instagram post, the little people Big World had stood next to a for sale sign outside his home. Well, the cat's out of the bag, he captioned the photo. I want to make sure you all hear the big news directly from me. All of Roller Farms has brought me and our family great joy for the past 30 plus years. Today, 16 acres of the farm's 109 acres go up for sale, including our original family home and bright red barn. It's a tiny bit scary, but mostly exciting. It's time to move toward the next season of life. He signed the message, soldiering on Matt Roloff. According to the Wall Street Journal, Matt is asking $4 million for the Oregon farmhouse where he and his ex-wife Amy raised their four children. While the lot for sale is only a fraction of the total owned land, the 16 acres offer enough unique features to be considered its own theme park. The main house spans about 5,400 square feet, but the rest of the property includes playgrounds built for his children. There is a 40-foot-long pirate ship with a captain's quarters, a main deck and bunk beds, a children's play castle inspired by the grand castles of Europe, and a replica of an old western town that reportedly has everything from a bank and a jail to a post office and a barber shop. According to the WSJ, the buildings are the size of small bedrooms, with secret passageways that lead to tunnels Matt built underneath them. Matt said he plans to build another home on the remaining land and will continue to grow pumpkins on it. He added he would split his time between the farm and his home in Arizona with his girlfriend Karen Chandler. It's too much now that I'm 60, Matt told the paper. I want to start to scale back a little bit. But the reality star's decision to sell to an outsider rather than make a deal with one of his kids is causing controversy. Matt shares three sons, Jacob, Zach and Jeremy, along with daughter Molly with his ex-wife Amy. In April, a source close to the patriarch told the son, Matt would prefer Jacob and wife Isabel to take over the farm, but he's not sure they are on board at the moment. He's the youngest son, but Matt knows Jacob has potential. They are on the farm a lot, and Matt thinks this is a good way to teach him a lot of things he needs to learn. Zach has also mentioned taking over the farm, and Jeremy has said in the past he would like it. The Rolla family legacy has been a source of stress and strife for Matt and the family. In a trailer for the new season of the TLC reality show, son Zack opens up about the drama between him and his father over the property. The temperature is still pretty high between my dad and me and Karen, Zack explained in the trailer as he and his family walk onto the farm. After the farm deal fell apart, there has been some tension between us, Matt said in a confessional. Complicating matters, a fire broke out on the farm in January, forcing Matt's hand. The 110-year-old building was engulfed in flames as the family had tried to save it, with firefighters arriving at the scene later. The chicken barn had smoke pouring out the sides, but luckily no animals were injured. Matt told his Instagram followers that he thinks the fire started when a light fell on the floor. The Roloffs reportedly bought the first roughly 33 acres of the farm in 1990 for about $185,000, buying the rest of the land over the years. As for the family's famed pumpkin patch, it looks like it will go on. According to the family, the parcel where the pumpkins previously grew includes a former gift shop. Matt has since moved the pumpkin operation to the other side of the farm, but said the soil on the parcel for sale can still grow pumpkins and other crops if the new owner chooses to do so. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.